Hey guys, so over the years there's been some pretty interesting April Fool's pranks played against us players by Jagex, so that's what this countdown is all about. I hope you guys enjoy. Number 10. On April 1st, 2004, Jagex released an NPC named Diango, and they told everybody that he was a cowboy selling horses. During this year, almost every player in RuneScape wanted nothing more than to ride around on horses in the game, due to the game itself being set in a medieval sort of era. To everyone's surprise though, Diango was merely selling toy horses instead of real ones. Number 9. On April 4th, 2005, Diango was used once again to trick players. This was the year that everybody was wanting dragon plate bodies, so Jagex added an item in Diango's shop called spinning plates. All it was was a plate with a dragon on it that a player could spin, but eventually break if they spun it too much. Most players were actually expecting this joke due to its similarity to the previous year. Number 8. On April 1st, 2008, Diango was used yet again to trick players. This year, players wanted a dragon kite shield, so Jagex added another item to Diango's shop called a dragon kite. It was essentially a kite with a dragon on it. Those who took place in the previous April Fool's events understood immediately where this was going once they had read the news post before they even got to Diango, but some new players who weren't around for the previous jokes involving Diango were actually fooled. Number 7. On April 1st in 2009, cabbages came alive. If players tried to pick one up, it would say a random phrase such as, All hail Brassica Prime. Brassica Prime is apparently the god of cabbages. If you did manage to catch one though, you could actually use it as a weapon, throw it at another player, or simply just eat it. There was also a hidden message during this event. Those who were bored enough to kick one of the bouncing cabbages from the cabbage patch field all the way to Ooglog were thanked and rewarded with a cabbage by the one and only Brassica Prime. Number 6. On the 1st of April in 2014, two events took place, one being in OSRS and the other in RS3. In RS3, if you were adding logs to a bonfire, instead of a log being thrown into the fire, you'd actually be throwing in party hats, and it shocked a lot of players at first. Taking place in old school RuneScape was an interactable fake skill called sailing that now could possibly turn into a real skill. You could only level up the skill to 21 until it gave you a fake error message and reset itself back to level 1. While sailing to different islands, you could meet various NPCs like Zaros, who apparently had a combat level that was over 9,000. Number 5. On the 1st of April in 2010, an announcement was made via the RS homepage about a theme park called Wet and Wildy that Jagex was apparently releasing along with a poll with four funny multi-choice questions and a developer's blog on the matter. The dev blog stated that the park would be opened in the 5th quarter of 2010, however, there's only 4 quarters in a year so it was obviously a hoax to those who caught on. Many players flooded to the forums believing it was true, but later Later, one of the forum mods admitted it to be a joke, and the article was edited, telling everybody that it was in fact a joke, which is kind of too bad. It sounded like a good idea for a theme park. Number 4. On April 1st of this year, 2015, the official RuneScape YouTube channel posted a video called Leaked Jagex Tour, and down in the comments section, a fake ex-employee of Jagex wrote a comment providing an image that showed their Jmod account being banned with the reasoning behind it being a breach in their employee confidentiality agreement as well as a breach of the Jagex company as a whole. The video shows a room where the OSRS team will expand to once they release EOC into OSRS, along with some other crazy jokes too. I actually really enjoyed watching it, and you guys can watch it yourselves by checking the description. Number 3. On April 1st in 2013, the official RuneScape YouTube channel posted a video called RuneScape Behind the Scenes for April, and it basically is a hilarious and sarcastic video about them creating and putting on their own musical for people to come watch about the Cook's Assistant quest. If you'd like to see the full version, it is quite hilarious, and the link to it is once again in the description. Number 2. On the 1st of April in 2012, Jagex claimed in a news update that green pea hats were going to be randomly dropped in Varrock, Falador, and Lumbridge. It wasn't an actual green party hat, but instead a pea hat. It was basically a pea attached to a string that you could wear on your head. And on the same day, Jagex also announced a new product in a video called Jag Motion. Apparently, you could control your RuneScape player while wearing the Jag Motion suit, but it was obviously fake. What was even more funny about this was that it was supposedly going to cost almost $500 to be able to purchase it. 
Number 1. On the 1st of April in 2013, alongside The Cook's Assistant musical, Old School RuneScape's first April Fool's prank was done by Jagex. Rares hadn't been introduced into the game yet, so what Jagex did was drop a bunch of party hats and easter eggs on the ground, but if a player tried to pick them up, they'd hop away, and if you tried to cast Telegrab on them, they'd simply return to your inventory as a pink skirt or a cabbage. Thanks for watching guys, it's awesome to be a part of a game where the creators of the game take interest in interacting with their community. If you know what I should count down next, post it in the comment section and I'll try to make it happen. That's all I've got for you guys today and I'll talk to you all later.